Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your January 2024 tarot and oracle card readings. We are going to start with a money reading, then we'll have a love reading. I have linked a Law of Attraction series from Eckhart Tolle in the description box below if you're interested in that. I do feel like it's worth a visit. We'll start here with the money reading by taking a fortune oracle card. You know what? We left a card behind. I'm going to take that. You have fire. Let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. Okay, that's about money. Let's see what the tarot wants to tell you here. What advice do you have for Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus to attract financial abundance and prosperity, please? What does Gemini need to know about money? Happy New Year, too, by the way. And if you don't mind hitting the like button, I sure do appreciate it. Okay, you have here the Three of Swords. I like that in the past. The Five of Pentacles moving forward. The Queen of Cups into your heart's desires. So you have a deeper meaning here, though. I feel like somebody's going to have a transition, whether it be with career or even if you're moving to a new location, somewhere that really is drawing you. You have this energy throughout the cards of being almost pulled forward. As I always say, the pain pushes until the vision pulls. That vision is pulling you, but in the um, outcome, you have the Queen of Cups. So I definitely feel like as we look at this, I'll show it to you and then we'll get back into the other cards. But look at how she looks at that cup. And when you see the other cups and the other cards, they're not nearly as ornate. And so there's a symbolism there. Somebody here, I feel like you're going to have more than you thought you would. You're going to make bigger gains than you thought you even could. Doors are going to open to you that you didn't even know were available to you. So we have here water, and especially with this watery energy, I do feel like if you have had an emotional upheaval like the um, Fortune Oracle talked about with this Three of Swords, if you had some sort of betrayal like a job loss that was unpredictable, something that was unexpected, a gut punch out of nowhere, or even if your whole world was turned upside down, it could even be related to a relationship going through a, a breakup or a divorce where finances were a big part of the deal. I do feel like it's represented here in the, pa in the past, but we're going to move forward. And so you've got this energy with this five of pentacles of, of kind of like trudging forward, one foot at a time, one step at a time. Now, if you're building a business, if you had something that didn't work out and it just got you thinking, I don't want to be at somebody else's mercy again, or even if it was a situation with a house or housing where you said, I cannot continue to stay here. They're raising the insurance premiums, their rate, everything's going up. I need to I need to move. If that happened with you, I heard Virginia for some reason. I feel like some people would be more inclined to move to there than out of out of the state of Virginia, but it may be something like that where it's similar, even if you live in another country and you're going, well, there's definitely no way I'm moving there, but something that feels like it's a little bit more within reach, a lot more comfortable, something about it just feels natural and easy. Moving into something that I do feel like ultimately brings you true joy. So it's oftentimes when something doesn't work out the way we thought it would, that something even better happens as a result. And that's what you've got coming in here. This will be, whatever these changes are, they also allow you to take care of yourself. But like I said, the, the first inclination I get off of this is the way she adores that cup, the way she looks at it like it's a prize, like it's something special. So I definitely feel like you are going to make gains. If something didn't go in your career in the way you thought it was, like I said, you're walking into something so much better. And with this Eight of Cups, this is in the advice. This is the hero's journey. So I feel like they're telling you not to settle and keep moving forward. Now, for some, I understand if you lost a job, sometimes we have to do things in the interim just to make ends meet. But I do feel like you see it as that. You see it for what it is and not seeing it as I'm just going to stay here, even though it's really not my passion. I feel like that's what this is all about, walking towards your life's purpose and your passion. So we are going to take a card from the Abraham playbook. This was just the card that's about the deck, okay? It doesn't, uh, I'll take that out of there so it doesn't confuse people. It's no, There's no particular message, but let's hear from Money and the Law of Attraction. I can make a career of living happily ever after. Interesting. A very good career choice would be to gravitate toward those activities 
and to embrace those desires that harmonize with your core intentions. It really reminds me of the Eight of Cups, which are freedom and growth and joy. Make a career of living a happy life rather than trying to find work that will produce enough income that you can do things with your money that will then make you happy. When feeling happy is of paramount importance to you, and what you do for a living makes you happy, you have found the best of all combinations. So I even saw somebody, like especially if you're retired and you feel like you have more time than you'd like to, I even saw somebody at what looked like some sort of a, a floral and candle shop working in a place like that that would just be just kind of a fun atmosphere. All right, now we're going to ask about love here. Okay, what does Gemini... What do Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to know about love? We'll use those as clarifiers, just by the way. Guidance for Gemini to manifest the love of their lives into their lives, please. All right. So same setup, four cards, but we do have two clarifiers this time. In the past, we have the Ten of Swords. We've got the Knight of Wands, and you're coming into the King of Wands. Very fiery. Now, we have the Two of Pentacles along with what looks like three cards, okay, up here. And we'll talk about this in a moment. We are going to take a card from Louise Hay. You have, I nourish myself. And that's kind of the underlining theme. Now, it reminds me of that Queen of Cups that you had in the money reading, too. Decide that today you will eat only food that loves you. You know better than anyone what is best for you. So if there's something with that, if you went through a breakup and you're finding you've been kind of eating crappily and just too much salt, too much, you know, not, it's too much processed stuff with this 10 of swords, we get down in the dumps. This also can be physical issues too. So if you're saying, well, I didn't, I didn't go through a breakup. It wasn't that, but I really went through a difficult, challenging period this year, health related or health wise, it's showing up in the cards. Now, this is in the past, and I feel like you're definitely getting your mojo back or have it back as we step into the reading. Um, so, again, that thing with the food is important because it does, we, we, you know, become what we do. And so, over time, if we don't feed ourselves correctly, over time, we won't feel very good. And we know what that attracts when we're not feeling our best. So, with the Knight of Wands, you have somebody showing up here that is quite the charmer. And I do feel like you two have a fun energy between the two of you, banter, that that kidding and joking, but it's not passive aggressive. It doesn't feel like there's a mean undercurrent. It really does feel light. It feels easy. It feels fun. Now, if you have been caught up with somebody who does tend to do the passive aggressive jabs, this is not them. And you may find that it's time to move on if you have somebody who's doing that, because after a while, it's like, this is no longer amusing. And I don't find it funny anyway, but either way, if at one point that was happening, I feel like it's, let's move on to something better. Because what happens with this, this knight of wands, the knight becomes a king. And a male or female doesn't matter. It's a relationship that, that develops and grows. Now, I'd also tell you too, with this knight of wands, he is the knight in shining armor of the tarot. And so you'll find that when this knight shows up, it is somebody who wants to support, somebody who wants to be there for you in all areas. So the charisma is the first part of that knight, but he's busy. He tends to be a very busy energy. So you have the king of wands and the outcome. Now, let me tell you with this one, this in terms of relationships is very hot and steamy energy, but it's also very loyal. And so you have somebody here who is strong, who's in interesting who gets your attention and keeps your attention but they can also keep their eye on you when you have the queen we don't have her today but the king and queen only look at each other they're the only two court cards in the king and queens that look at one another because their connection is so strong so whoever this is they totally get you I keep seeing dandelions, like a big field of dandelions. So what came out in the advice is more cards than I normally would pick, but the cards sometimes have a mind of their own. Now, if you're asking about reconciliation, I do feel like you have a choice here, Gemini. We have cancer here. We've got air, fire, and a little bit of earth. I feel like you're going to have a choice, but I do feel like you have somebody from the past who keeps tabs on you. Now, if that person is not leveled up, you've got an important encounter. You've got somebody you're going to meet here. Okay, right here. 
and that is going to give you a second look. So I just keep getting this energy, this duality of, of somebody who's not quite leveled up and somebody who is. Okay, and this is where cross watchers get a little testy. They don't always like that. But I'm telling you what, you're going to have a choice there. And I do feel like with the chariot, you're going to pick somebody who's who is very committed. They've got that committed, wonderful law of attraction energy showing up here. Now we'll ask the whispers of love. What else? You need to know about love. Get to know each other. Learn to meet another's need for love because you definitely have love coming in here, but I'd also say they have to meet your needs as well. So good things are on the way for you, Gemini. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.